Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and a quick customer mail-in video we're doing today. So on the bench we have two mid-band boards, two frequency correction boards, a K-tone bleep, high gain 5 bleep and a couple of 10 mic capacitors. So that can only mean we're going to mod a couple of Cybernet radios. So here we have the Radio Mobile CB202 and a Roadmaster 505, which essentially are the same thing, just a couple of different switches here and there. But all the standard 134 chassis, so there should be no problem with this at all. So we'll crack on and get the modifications done. So on this one, there's not a lot of room below the channel change and the PLL, but there's just enough to squeeze my pin header in. So there's a mid-band board installed and we're just checking for the lock light on the bottom of the mid-band board. And we have a VCO lock. Now we put it onto mid-band. And of course we've got no lock. So we'll just adjust the VCO. And we get a nice lock on this one. So we'll just check it across both bands. Channel 40 on UK and channel 1 on mid and all's good. So I've completely rewired the front switches, so I've removed CBPA, I've removed channel 9 but I've left the channel 9 light enabled so that can be a bleep on light and the CBPA switches the mid-band UK and this frequency correction board which just fits nicely down there. So there's you channel 1 UK FM Channel 40 UK FM, Channel 1 Midband, and Channel 40 Midband. And as you can see, with the correct frequency correction, it's bang on. So, all in all, happy with that. So now it's time to fit the K-Tone bleep. So that's working nicely. So we'll add the extra contacts on the K-Tone bleep to switch the RX circuit so it doesn't come through the speaker. And of course the 10 mic for the squelch pop. One, two. You can see, switch channel 9 on, there's a bleep. CBPA now is mid-band and UK 40, so CB position UK. And PA position is mid-band. Working quite nicely. And of course, no squelch pop. So here's the next radio. Again, pretty much the same, but with a weird push button on and off. Yeah, interesting to repair that. So first things again, nice squelch pop suppression. Before I forget, and mid-band installed. Nice and tidy. Managed to get all the wires nice and neat. So underside of the board, there's our frequency correction board tucked in nicely down there. And our high gain 5 beep sat there. Very nice. So let's have a comparison of these. So on the Roadmaster, there's our K tone. And on the Radio Mobile. There's our high gain 5 beep, all with the correct RX switching so it doesn't come through the speaker. So they've had a quick alignment, RX and TX, powers nice and level across the bands, receives nice across the bands. So jobs are good and these can go back home to their owner. Anyway, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, join the Facebook group and we'll see you in the next video.